Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Susan and today I'm gonna do a 30 minute challenge which I wanted to do for a very long time. So if you want to know how I can achieve it in only 30 minutes, then keep on watching. As you can see, I am drawing freehand by using my pencil to measure the proportion. For some of you, this might be an advanced technique, but it is not as hard as you think. The lips do not have many details, so they are perfect to practice freehand method. It will also help you to train your eyes and your observation skills. So, an easy tip to start with is that you should pick a reference photo and draw in the exact same proportion with it. In this challenge, I duplicate the object and place it side by side, so it is very easy for the measurement. I only have limited time, so I try to do it quick. There were some mistakes that I have made, such as the right side of the lips should be a bit wider, which means that the corner of the lips needs to be moved a bit to the right. But consider the overall shape, I think I'm quite happy with the result. Now I'm drawing the highlighted spots of the lips. This is what I think had wasted me 2 minutes of my time. Normally, this step is helpful to avoid overshading on the highlighted area. I wouldn't neglect like these areas from the beginning if I shade by pencils, but in this case, I try to achieve it fast by using the brush, so it is impossible to avoid these areas. So next time, I will skip this step and go right into brushing the charcoal powder on the lips. You can see that I am brushing the charcoal powder by using a small makeup brush. Then I start to add more values to the lips. I always use charcoal to shade the darkest dark because it gives a very deep black, no shiny as graphite does. So to make it quick, I use my finger so I can blend it out as I go. But later I realized that I could just have used the charcoal pencil. It does have to reach the darkest shade faster. So don't be afraid of making mistakes or do something unnecessary because you will learn from that. I made tons of mistakes, but that is how I learn. Just make sure that you don't make the same mistakes over and over again because if it becomes a habit, then it is bad for you. Back to the drawing that we have here. For the lighter shade, I use makeup brush to blend the values and also you can use B graphite pencil and also blending stump to blend out. This process takes most of the time because the values have to be gradually developed. So in this challenge, we have to balance between the urge to do it quick and the quality of the work. Some techniques might help you to accomplish this faster, but in the end, the result is not as expected. For example, I can use my finger to apply the charcoal. It produces dark values almost immediately. However, you can also easily mess it up because finger is not as flexible and easy to control as a brush. And because the values are added too fast, so in the later stage, it will be more difficult to erase to create highlights. So, my advice here is that you should enjoy the process. Instead of doing some shortcuts, you should develop your skills to be sufficient enough to shorten the time. Art is not meant to create it under pressure, it should be fun and relaxing. You can practice a few times to see if you improved. Don't compare yourself to anyone else, just compare yourself with the you before the practice. That is the whole point of doing the challenge. If you'd like to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button and also the bell notification so you will be notified every time I have a new post. I also have videos for you about the tips and tutorials for realistic drawings, so make sure you check them out in the description box. Back to where we are, now I'm gonna use tone bar eraser to create highlights. I love this part because now it will bring out the glossy look which is so cool. Again, I will not copy the exact details from the photo, I will only pick up the major details and detach myself from the reference. 
Well, I like to spice it up a bit and sometimes I just need to get the ideas and then I start to create my own things. As you see now, the highlights in the reference photo are much wider than the ones in my drawing. It is okay because later we will use the jelly pen to make them wider. Then I use 6B pencil to draw around the highlights to make the drawing pops. In this stage, you can see that it starts to look more realistic. I also draw the teeth and shade them. For the last couple of minutes, I would focus on refining the details. Because of that, I would mostly use the pencil for shading because it gives me full control. I don't want to shade over the highlighted areas, so pencil and blending style will work really well together in this stage. Or you can use the brush if it doesn't hurt the highlights, such as in the age where it needs to be soft, make a brush would be a better choice. I think I'm doing great now with the lips. I feel no pressures and I know exactly what I need to do from now. We only have 12 minutes left, so keep on watching. I hope this challenge encouraged you to start your own challenge. You can choose whatever you like to draw, a pen, a cup, or a ball, whatever you like. Start with something easy and fun. You will be surprised how fast you can improve. Now for the teeth, I use charcoal pencil because I know it's going to be very dark. Also, the AB Mars Lumograph Light Pencil does help me to get into the detail between the teeth. Well, my charcoal pencil is too soft, so it is impossible to make it sharp. It will be broken. Then I use blending stump to shade the teeth and also blend some other parts where I think are not smooth enough. I really like the blending stump as it is both a drawing and a blending tool. Unlike the brush, it is easy to get into details and also build up the values faster. The charcoal remains on the tip of the stump so it is perfect to blend in small parts such as the teeth here. The lower lid looks a lot lighter than that in the reference photo, so I continue to shade it darker. Hopefully I have enough time because I don't want to have real lips where the upper lips is much darker than the lower. So wish me luck! Now I'm using the jelly roll pen to add tiny spots all over the lips. We don't have much time left so hopefully I can get it done on time. Oh, this is so exciting and nervous at the same time. I don't usually look at the clock when I draw, but actually now I do it in every minute like, you know, I'm freaking out. I know we shouldn't feel under pressures when drawing because that can ruin the whole thing, but when you're in a challenge, you can't avoid it. Actually, I think the shading is quite okay. Just the highlights that I need to work on more, then we will be done. Well, 30 minutes are quite enough time to draw realistic lips, even though I think my version does not as good as the original photo, but I'm quite happy with it. If you want to see more artwork from me, then follow me on Instagram at Susantino Art. I also share some real-time tutorials such as the skin shade, eyes drawing on my Instagram, so it will be helpful for you. I really hope you learned something from this challenge. Leave a comment down below what you think that I should do next for my challenge and also any stuff that you'd like to see next for me. Oh, there are only a few seconds left. Time's up. What do you think of the lips? For me, I think the result is quite good. I hope you had a great fun watching this video. See you next time.